This is the Video Game Votary. Show your support and hit subscribe right now. Hey you guys, your boy the Video Game Votary. So, this is another case of right place, right time. I'm sure you guys wondering what happened. So I'm gonna tell you how I was managed to get two consoles and 18 games for only $30. You wanna find out how I did that? Sit back, subscribe, catch the vibe, find out next. Alright guys, so we're back. So let me explain the situation. So I said I got two consoles, 18 games for $30. So I'm sure you guys want to know how that happened. This arguably um probably my second biggest pickup, of course, number one being with the three RK one else. That bar none is the number one pickup. This is by far the second biggest pickup. And this one is probably gonna be more so for my kids because I have it already, but even still I couldn't really turn down the deal. So sitting the game stop. I'm picking up a game to add to my Wii U collection. This is right after Black Friday, it's on a Sunday. And I see this kid, he's got a, the two consoles I got, let's get into that. This model PS3, don't know the hard drive size of either, either of these. Then you got an Xbox 360. So that's what the kid had up there. Got him up there and then he had the 18 games. Uh, one Xbox One game, some 360 games, some PS3 games. And I see the guy game stop, he's scanning them. Some he can't take, and some he's adding up. And I'm finished doing my total. I'm still at the register. The kid's next to me, and they told him his total. Now, you know they can offer you cash, and they can offer you store credit. Now, I'm sure y'all game stop haters are going to have a field day with this. And I guess rightfully so, you should, but not so much. So, the cash total they offered to give this kid. For two consoles, 18 games, $5 and some change for cash, $9 and some change for store credit. And I like I had to butt in, I was like, wait, like $9? I knew they weren't talking 900 it had to be nine, but it was just, I'm sure that was deflating for that kid. I don't know what he was trying to get, if he was trying to get a game or console, but it's just like ridiculous, you know? And I hear his dad off to the side kind of, you know, making comments, stuff like that, and rightfully so. So I told the kid, I was like, you know, if it's all right with your parents, I'll offer you 30 bucks. I mean, that's twice the amount they're giving you for the kid. And I'm not trying to rip him off or anything like that. But, I mean, I don't know if he was getting ready to take it or something like that. And I said, unless you're going to sell it on your own. But, you know, I'll offer that to you standing right here right now. That's what I have on me. And he agreed to do it. He said that was more than fine. So, I guess he was getting rid of it to get something else. The employee told me we had to handle it outside. Couldn't do it in the store. But, either way, get his kid 30 bucks. Let's run through some of the games. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Day Zero Edition, Xbox One. The rest of these 360, Ninja Game 2, Ninja Game 3, WWE 2K14, Marvel Super Heroes, Lord of the Rings, uh, Lego, Destiny, Madden 25. They got some PS3 games. Um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4, Call of Duty World at War, Rayman Origins, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Grand Theft Auto 5, Assassin's Creed, Black Flag, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, NBA 2K13, and Batman Arkham City. Game of the Year edition. Now, a lot of these I have. Again, I did this more so, I guess, for one, it was a good deal. Uh, two, for my children, they were asking about, uh, they wish I hadn't got rid of the PS3. I kind of took my son's PS3 uh, sneakingly and traded it to help get him his Xbox One for his birthday. So, um... That was kind of me, you know, giving it back to him. So, you know, I felt, again, I felt bad for this kid. I'm sure, again, the GameStop haters going to come and like, yeah, that's exactly why I hate GameStop. But it's not just GameStop. You can go to small mom and pop stores and you're only going to give it a certain amount of money because such the games like Call of Duty, they come out every year. So they lose value. Same as sports titles. So, and then you got to think from a business perspective. But I think with that... Um, like they said, like the PS3 didn't have controllers and if it scratches or something, they defect it out. But they're going to turn around and sell these consoles. Like, I know Black Friday 360 was $30. PS3, I don't know what they normally go for. But either way, they would at least sold them for at least a minimum of 40 bucks on a regular day-to-day. Uh, -day. Not even, you know, counting their sales. So, you know, I'm sure it was like the flavor for this kid. Like, man, I'm kicked out these two systems in 18 games and that's all you're trying to give me but you know as far as games i gotta look at it from perspective like 
from a business perspective that these games don't have as much value. There's still some good games in there. You probably could get about five bucks for most of them outside of the sports titles and Call of Duty. But they're not really worth a lot of money. A lot of these games I've seen and actually probably have in my library that I got on the 4 for 10 deal. So, you know, but I know that's one of the things that people don't dislike. That's why I'm just an advocate and believer of just keeping your games. You know, I regret trading in a couple games, which I shouldn't have, but I did it to um, my son's birthday crap up on me. I had to get some extra cash. And I had a couple games that were actually worth some value. So I actually traded them in to help get his Xbox One. But outside of that, I don't trade in anything. I don't care if it's a sports title, game worth 25 cents, if it was free. That's something I just don't do. Just because of that feeling, knowing that nine times out of 10, I pay 60 bucks for a game. And you telling me, oh, well, I'll give you a quarter for it. Like, it's kind of, you know, it's almost borderline disrespectful. And, you know, you, you hate it. I understand both sides of the fence. So that's just one of the things. And then it just seems like I'm kind of ending up at the right place at the right time. It's kind of giving me uh, the feeling that this is what I'm supposed to be doing because this isn't the first time something like this happened. I've also gotten a free weed. I walked in GameStop and got, like, 12 free games. Like, different stuff like that. It's, I'm at the right place at the right time. So, either way, you know, that's just one of the things where you kind of, you know, keep your eyes open. And that's something I would recommend to anybody that's looking for anything. If you see somebody trading something in and GameStop offers them some low value, pull them to the side and say, hey, man, you know, I'll give you X, Y, Z to take this off your hands if they only give you that. Especially if they're definitely in there, 9 out of 10, they're going to part ways with it. So, that's just something that, you know, basically take with a grain of salt and um i think it was a great pickup again i'm probably gonna give these to my kids that 360 will probably be a giveaway at some point maybe uh either at the 500 or 1000 subscribe one of the big numbers if i'm gonna give away a console um i think that is, that's what should you know should take place for that so um i'm gonna sort through these games give them to the kids or whatever but either way thank you for tuning in thank you for watching thank you for your continued patronage Thank you for the support. Follow me at Video Game Voting on all social media platforms. Don't forget the Friday Night Finisher live on Twitch every Friday evening. Um, I need to get set on a time. Sometimes I get home early. I like to try to get it done earlier. But 9 times 10 is going to be 8 o'clock. Uh, also, look out for um, VIP. Vote your initial plays. That's when I'm going through my library give you a couple minutes of gameplay and you basically get my initial reaction the first time I play the game. So thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please hit that subscribe button. It is free. It costs you nothing. So thank you for tuning in. We're going to end the episode on that note. It's your boy, the video game voter. We out. Thank you for watching. Follow me on all social media platforms at video game voter.